I've known Randy Borgerding for close to 20 years, and he's been not only one of the best painters and technicians that I know, but he's always willing to help people, and that really benefits me, especially when I need help. <laughs> Randy is on a extremely high level of execution because he builds cars that are worth many, many, many dollars. And he knows that my goal with the Jaguar was a nice street driver, but, but he can't not know what he knows. So he would look at a panel and go, hey, there's a little wave, let's just correct it. Randy is from Paint House, Texas, and he is a master at what he does. His paint jobs win awards from coast to coast, but he started with much simpler builds. So as it sounds, building models as a kid. I was always drawn to cars, loved cars, and uh, building a little plastic Revell and monogram models just grew into building bigger models. The first award I won was a little model contest when I was in sixth grade. What I thought was a cool color, and, and I won a gift certificate and bought another model and did it again. <laughs> With Randy here, the prep went quickly. And before long, the car was outside to get blown off and cleaned up before going into the spray booth. When you put a car in the paint booth, you have to, you have to understand airflow. And air will sometimes develop turbulence around the sides of the car. And literally will come underneath the car, pick up dirt, and redeposit it into the wet paint. So the process of, of putting masking paper down to the floor is called skirting the car. And it just creates, uh, it follows down from the body lines to the floor so you don't have that turbulence. The black ground coat was from PPG. It's their DP90 black epoxy, which makes it a very good sealer. Uh, it's an epoxy, which is a glue. It sticks to anything, anything sticks to it. So it was a perfect ground coat for this paint job. In the case of our custom colors, black seems to be the best undertone, and it's a consistent undertone. So should you need to repair it, which is, it's not if, it's when, once you use black again, you get it the same color every time. The thing about Randy Apple Red 3 is that it's, it's very rich. Everybody that sees it thinks it's a three-stage candy, but it's not. It's a color and clear, very simple. Uh, to, to spray, but really complex to look at. Most of our colors tend to have sort of a candy look to them. In fact, this color, it'll fool you. You'll think it's candy, but it's not. It's a two-stage base coat, clear coat, repairable, repeatable. Um, it's a great way to get that look without all the headaches. We used five coats of a clear coat that's designed for three max. And the reason we were able to do that is because Randy's technique, his reducer selection, and the way he understands paint. Are you happy with the color? Do you like the color? Do you think it fits the car? Absolutely. Uh, I think it's kind of a mixture of classy and sassy. It's rich, almost a candy red, and uh, it looks appropriate on a car like that. But it's got just, when the light hits it, there's that pop, and you know it's something, something different. I love the color. More importantly, Judy loves the color.